The United States invaded Iraq 20 years ago today, launching what would become an eight-year war. Now, Iraq is finally springing back to life. The old bazaars are bustling again, and American troops have been replaced by American tourists. It's great to interact with these lovely people. They are so kind. This group is traveling all across the country without security. It's no longer needed. Okay, let's go. Yalla. The cradle of civilization is inviting the world back. I love it, I love it. Photos are no problem. Iraqis are delighted tourists are returning. And what do you think so far? And how's this experience? People are so friendly. I was not expect people to be so friendly. I mean, they really are very, very kind. And, and they'll ask if you're American, and they say, I love you. This would have been unthinkable not long ago. In 2007, at the peak of the civil war unleashed by the American invasion, this bazaar was obliterated by a suicide bomber. Dozens were killed. Iraq still has deep scars from the war. Tens of thousands lost their lives. The country remains deeply corrupt, and the government is dominated by Iraq's neighbor, Iran. But there are signs of hope. Saddam Hussein's former lakefront palace is now the American University in Baghdad. All classes are co-ed, all taught in English. The plan is for 35,000 students, and it's expanding quickly. So where are the dormitories going to go? Probably in here, and maybe we'll fill in a little of the lake and put, put them around here. It's, we're still debating it. This land here will probably be College of Engineering, Architecture, Agriculture. This is a hugely ambitious project. Yeah, it really is. President Mulnix works out of Saddam's old office. His initials are still etched into the ceiling. One of the worst dictators in the history of mankind, and it's becoming an educational institution for the young people of Iraq. So there's a certain, I don't know, I call it poetic justice, a certain symmetry in what's happening here. Many of the students are too young to remember Saddam. Instead, their childhoods were defined by the American occupation. How's life in Iraq these days? We need to change no, the right. world idea about Iraq. You see, you can see, we are living in peace. Have freedom to speak, have freedom to live, freedom to do anything. We are the future of Iraq. Iraqis need, need us. And for the first time in years, Iraqis who fled the violence are returning to build a better future. I mentioned those Iranian-backed militias, and they are very significant. And in many ways, this square encapsulates the entire experience of this country. Saddam Hussein's statue is gone, but it has been replaced by this giant mural of Qasem Soleimani, an Iranian general who was killed in a U.S. airstrike. So some Iraqis will say that the United States came, toppled Saddam, but opened the door for Iran. So interesting. Richard Engel in Baghdad for us. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.